What is going on you guys? Rochelle here, bringing you another tutorial today. Today we'll be covering the installation of Unreal Engine. This was inspired by a comment left on a video where I was asking y'all what you wanted to see, so if you guys have more suggestions, please don't hesitate to add some comments below about any suggestions for upcoming videos that you want to see. That being said, we're going to do installation today. We're going to try to start working on a simple game in another video. Not quite sure how we're going to wrap those up, but that's the future plans. As always, thank you guys for coming out, and I hope you guys enjoy! Alright, so we're gonna get started by going to Google, which is already in my search bar, and then typing in Unreal Engine. Alright, so the first result is gonna be the one that we want here, and we see that this is a software used for creating video games and potentially other stuff. I'll be honest, I don't know a ton about Unreal Engine besides video games. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So you'll notice that both of these are free to use and there are royalties on the publishing license, but the creator license is no royalties. I am going to choose the publishing license though, because it is for game development and uh, we are going to make a simple game. So first you'll download this, click on that and then start the install. So install, and then it's going to go ahead and do everything we needed to do over here. We'll go ahead and try to launch this up and see what it's like to create a project too, I suppose, since this is kind of a uh, simple tutorial if we don't do anything else. And then I'll come up with some ideas on how we want to actually do the next part, which is coming up with a game and doing something super simple there, because I don't want to bite off too much so that I can chew, but I also want to give an idea of how I would design this game, how I would think about approaching new feature requests or anything like that. So. Yeah, I know some of y'all are game developers and I want to make sure that I provide some sort of resources for you there. So now we're starting in a download from Epic and I don't really know how long this is going to take. So once this is done, we'll be right back. All right, so download completed. We're going to have to make an account, it appears. So I already have an account, so I'll sign into mine. But if you do not, then you should probably sign up. All right, and now that we're signed in, you'll see we're brought back here. This is not installed, so we can install it. And say, of course, you've read the user license. Choose where you want this to be installed. I think that's probably fine for me. And now it's going to download this. You can check the progress of your downloads by clicking on this downloads tab. You'll see that it's saying, please wait. So I don't know how long that's going to take, but I'm sure we'll see updates there. We can see that the download progress is moving forward, so it just takes time. As we can see now, there's no more tasks here, which means that our download is completed. And we can close here and just click this launch button. In the meantime, while this was downloading, I took a look at the existing documentation that they have on Unreal Engine, and the tutorials seem pretty cohesive. So I'm not quite sure how in depth we'll go into the tool itself and how to use the viewports and whatnot, because I believe that they did a good job covering it but if it is interesting to you let me know a little warning message pops up just press okay so i was just checking the prerequisites to make sure that i guess we had everything we needed i'm not exactly sure the inner workings of what was going on but now that it's done that check we can press the launch button again and this should launch up unreal engine and as you can see the editor is starting to initialize so now we see some options for what types of projects we can make they actually provide quite a few functionalities. Like I didn't realize we could use this for product design or engineering or anything like that. So that's pretty cool. But when we want to make a game, we would probably click this games option and then click next and choose which type of game it is. So I haven't really decided which type of game we're going to do, but let's just pretend it's a first person game. And here we're given some project settings so we can choose whether we want to use a blueprint, which is a Unreal Engine thing or C++, we can choose what kind of performance characteristics we want, um, you know, ray tracing and all of this stuff as well. And I don't really plan to cover this in depth because again, the Unreal Engine tutorials seem to cover this pretty well. But if you guys want me to look into this and then give you a tutorial specifically on project settings and what they mean, happy to do that as well. But now finally we press create project and then it'll create our project. All right, and just like that, our project opens up. Uh, in the top right, there's a little tutorial section in case you haven't looked at the video tutorials they provide. But according to the tutorial I watched, this is going to basically give us a really nice in-product tutorial that will help step through things. 
If you thought this video was helpful, please don't forget to give this video a like. If you want to see more Unreal Engine tutorials, we are going to be coming up with an idea of a simple game that we can do and then go through the process of how we would implement features there, potentially bug fixes if any bugs come up, etc. And maybe more stuff. So if you want to see that, don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit that bell icon if you want to see when new videos come out. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!